Gilgis Alexander once again hounded by Sexton early. Gets to the foul line, feeds off the Maladone. He got run off the line by Coro. Beelines with the basket, gets fouled, puts it up and in, and Maladone has a chance for three. Colin Sexton leaves the Cavaliers with seven early points. He has picked up a pair of fouls. Dort to the bucket, ran into Allen, banks and scores. Force the defense to move, you get a lane to the basket. The Cavs have hit six of their first eight shots, and now Osmond strips Gilgis Alexander. Out he comes, Osmond to a Coro for three. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The Cavaliers have taken an early nine-point lead. Step back long two is rebounded by the Cavaliers. Osmond leaks out. I like to see him when he's aggressive offensively because that really gives him a mix him a two or three threat three threat player. Gildas Alexander gets on the board. Four of Allen's six rebounds have come on the offensive end. He gets a well-earned rest, gives way to JaVale McGee as the Cavs again converge on Gildas Alexander. Diallo to the bucket, gets it over the arm of JaVale McGee and gets it to go. It's JaVale McGee at the age of 33. Yeah, the big fella up over the top to throw the hammer down. Gildas Alexander gets loose. Kansas second three of this opening quarter. Gildas Alexander in the Paul George trade two summers ago, along with a host of other riches. Let's pause for a word from your local Ford dealers. Williams fakes the three, deals to Roby. Gildas Alexander once again to the foul line to Williams again. He lays it in. So now SGA will procrastinate here and run the clock down as he shed Sexton and the follow no. It's almost an automatic call now in today's NBA. A point of emphasis over the last couple of seasons. Gildas Alexander has a Tatian move, stops, floats. He has 10. Cavaliers have coughed it up nine times in this first half. The Sexton can't finish. Cavaliers are three of 14 from deep. Oklahoma City 4 of 14. Gildas Alexander down the alley, took a bump, Ooh. banks it in, and Gildas Alexander has a chance for the three-point play. He feels the contact and just throws it up there, which is his style. He has he wants to get inside the cab to keep him from having free reign inside. Gildas Alexander to the bucket. Altered by Allen, rebounded by Osmond. Garland right up on Maladone. Maladone to the paint, deals with the corner. Baisley back to Gildas Alexander. He scoots around Osmond, banks up a wild shot. Rebounded by Allen. Giving the Thunder a 59-51 lead. Sexton nearly lost it. Now it's pried away by Gildas Alexander. You go through, if Walt Frazier, Earl Monroe, but as you go through it, it, it makes you a tougher player, and it gives you more idea of what you have to do to even be competitive against them. The Bucks made life very difficult on him. Just had a, a really solid game plan. And that was two missed free throws. A little surprising for him yet. So what's that mean? <laughs> I mean, you it, yeah. as a defensive player, you just have to think about so much. Yeah. You see, all these are learning experiences for the rookie, and and and, and you got to go through it. It's just simple as that. He has to learn from experience. <laughs> The Thunder to, to keep this double digit lead. SGA spins those long strides. And how about the scoop and score with the left? He really knows who he is in, in his game. Very deliberate player. A runner by Garland. Rebounded by Gildas Alexander. Here's the second year man out of Arizona State, Lugans Dort. Gildas Alexander attacks again. Osmond defended, rebounded by Allen. Osmond flies by. Dort left that one way short. That one never had a chance. Sexton, after it was bumped to him by Garland, and the Cavs have picked up the pace here early in the third quarter. They're also attacking better in game seven of the Thunder's first round matchup against the Rockets last season. They nearly pulled off the upset. Gilgis Alexander gets called for the foul as he shoved Colin Sexton to the hardwood. In game seven of the Thunder's first round matchup against the Rockets last season. They nearly pulled off the upset. Gilgis Alexander gets called for the foul as he shoved Colin Sexton to the hardwood. Under four to go in the third. Sexton looks for an opening. Coro got another hand on it, but it's grabbed eventually by Gilgis Alexander. Baisley, watched by Dylan Widler, who has just re-entered. Keep him in front of you. 
Gildas Alexander, a nice hesitation move. That was a nice hesitation there. Gildas Alexander out here with four reserves. Four bench players who were quite effective in the first half. Mascala from three, and he nails the triple. Draws a perfect six for six, 14 points, 13 big rebounds. High percentage shooting. <laughs> Gildas Alexander gets fouled by Okoro, puts it up and in. Okoro has picked up his fourth. Yeah, when I had nights like that, I would uh, like really have nightmares when I went to sleep. Please. They have that play down to a science now as the big fella throws another one down. Three by Gildas Alexander is good. As the Thunder, meanwhile, it's at the inbound. Diallo at the bucket. He lays it in. He has 15 off the Thunder bench. Thunder by 17. We're nearly halfway home here in the fourth quarter. Horford. Al Horford has 11 points. The Thunder have hit 11 threes. Gilgis Alexander on the other side of the ledger has 26. Stops. Fires. Garland. A coral from the corner. Allen, another rebound, puts it up and in, and Jared Allen is 10 for 10. He's going to be looking for a little rest tomorrow. Cavaliers have tomorrow off as Garland with a steal, knocks it away from behind. Long lead pass by Allen, intended for Osmond, but Horford. They've fueled Cleveland on the offensive end throughout the night. Allen again going to work on Horford. Osmond under five, Okoro still can't get one to go. As the weak side rebound credited to SGA. We approach the three minute mark. The Thunder protects a 13 point lead. Gildas Alexander to the bucket. He scores. 28 now for the third year man out of Kentucky. Work, he, had, he, he has to work on putting the ball on the floor and attacking the hoop. Lugans Dort. Gildas Alexander will chew some clock away. Fine Horford. Al has 16 tonight. So as mentioned, the Cavaliers are idle tomorrow night. And Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks come to town for a Tuesday night matchup. Thirty-one for Gildas Alexander. 